what's up guys back again with another video so um i hope you enjoyed last episode we talked about the boolean logical operators which was pretty cool i guess if you're savage like me and um so anyway we're going to talk about this episode about if statements so finally we're going to get into some pretty cool stuff and uh your programs can get pretty complex from this point if you can use if statements and stuff so if statements is a part of code or a part of java called conditionals which Basically, to sum it up, I can say it like this, I guess, um, like, you have certain conditions, or, yeah, conditions you have to meet, like, here, let me write it out, so let's say, let's write it in English, right, so let's leave a comment for ourselves here, oops, so if I have, if I am 16 years old, it's out a message saying, you're cool, dude. So, I mean, that's um, just an example in English of what an if statement can do. So, let's go ahead and put that into code. Um, well, first, I'll show you the basic anatomy of a con uh, if statement conditional thingy. So, we, right here, we have an if statement that says if, and then we have the condition. So, if 16 years old, that would go in here. And then, if that's true, then this inside of here will execute this block of code, anything between the curly bra uh, bracket, excuse me. And um, so yeah, that's how you do that. But then you have to have something else called the else. At least I think you have to have this. I'm not sure if you have to, but anyway. So the else is what will happen if this is not true, basically. Else, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. It's like, it's like English, basically. So if this and then else will be like the other option, basically. So if this is not true, then it will automatically fire this condition here, okay? So yeah, so let's, let's put that into action here so we can say, um, Oh, by the way, by the way, this has to be a boolean. It has to return a boolean, basically. It doesn't have to be a boolean, but it has to return a boolean. So I can say, like, if 5 is bigger than 6, something like that, which is not. So that would turn false, of course. But anyway, so let's make a let's make our first if statement. So we can say if, and we'll go ahead and run, we'll make something like this. So we're going to create a variable here. We're going to say int age equals 16. So I'm 16 years old. And uh, if age is equal to... Uh, let me say we can have another one called required age. Oh no, or we could just put 16 here. <laughs> Either one. So we can have required. We can have variables, of course. So we could do that, or we could just put 16. You know, it's kind of redundant, but yeah. So a uh, just ignore this. this is some poo poo. And so there we go. So if age is um, equal to 16 years old, then you'll execute this code in here. So we'll sout our system out print line. We'll say, you're cool, dude, or proper grammar. You're cool, dude. Okay, and then we have we have to have this else here, I believe, I believe. But, I mean, just always have an else, basically. It's very useful, so, you know. So, anyway, so else. Um, you're not cool. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's how we do that. So, let's print this out and see what happens. So, if we did this correctly... This is true, so we know that's true, so we'll just it should print this out, basically. And if not, then it'll print this one out. Yeah, awesome, it says I'm cool, dude. So let's go ahead and change this to 14. And 14 year olds are losers, man, I'm telling you. Um, so it's probably not gonna say, yeah, it says you're not cool, so I mean, they're losers, right? So um, we're gonna be learning about this soon, but um, when you have, in here, you can have a bunch of operators. Like this, this one is here, an operator. It's close to the equal sign, but you have to remember this is an assignment operator. So this is basically for this when you're assigning a value. But this double is a you're comparing two variables. Excuse me for blowing on the mic. <laughs> so you're comparing two things here. That's what the double is for. So just remember that, and we'll be learning about that next episode, I believe. So stay tuned. So don't fret over that. Um, so yeah, we can also have a boolean here. It doesn't matter. All I have to do is return a boolean, basically. So boolean is gay equals false so <laughs> that's kind of random and weird not weird but random um yeah um so we're gonna run this <laughs> so it's false so it can't run this one right so it's obviously just gonna say you're not cool because it's gay which is kind of homophobic and mean but yeah so um yeah that was random anyway um so we can do another thing here i'm going to show you real quick um using the um boolean operational thingies for their statements conditional operations i forget i don't know what they're called but anyway the things that go in here so anyway we could say if age is equal to or no bigger or equal to required age 
uh, yeah, so if it's bigger than a uh, required age, then it'll be true. But if it's equal to required age, it'll also be true. So this this is used in math too, so you should know pretty much. I mean, it's simple. But yeah, it's going to say you're not cool. What? Oh yeah, because we're, <laughs> obviously, we are 14. So if we change this to seven, 177 years old, you are cool. And you're also going to be old. So, for example, yeah, like, let's say... Um, we want to have a thing that can tell you if it's old, right? So, of course, he's he's cool because he's over the age or equal to the age of 16. But let's say if he's over the age of um, 70, then he's old, right? So, we can have another if statement inside of here. This is called a um, nested if statement, basically. Nested conditional, whatever you want to call it, right? So, we can say um, inside of here, if um, age is uh, bigger than or equal to... Um, 70, then we could say, so, oh, oops, Jeebers, you're old. Okay, so what this does is every time this, this is executed, this will run inside of it, basically. So if this comes out as false the first time, this won't even run, so don't, it doesn't even care. So this will only run, right? But if this comes out as true, not only will this whole block run, but this is part of the block, so it'll run also. And it can go at infinity, like pretty much, I don't know. Um, but you can like have as many nested if statements as you want, as long as you don't get confused and mess it up, right? So we can also have an else here. And we can say, phew, you're not old. So we can say, um, it'll check now and say if it's not um, equal than or bigger than old uh, or age or 70, <laughs> then it'll say, phew, you're not old. So let's change this to like um, 17. So that's below 70, of course, and up above 16. So it says, phew, you're not old. So anyway, that's the example of a nested if statement. And we could also have one in here if we want to. So we could say, um, if age is equal to five, oops, gotta have double. If age is equal to five, then print out, why are you even here? I don't know, some stupid. So we can say that, and yeah, you don't have to have an else, on me, else statement, sorry. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, so it's still the same thing, we forgot to change it, so we'll set it to one, see what happens. So it says, you're not cool. Why didn't it print this out? Because it's not, he's not equal to five. He's only one years old. Although it does meet this condition because it's not any of these. So it's automatically going to move to else, right? But it's not going to run this because it doesn't, it's checking right here. So it doesn't equal five. So let's go ahead and change this to five and see what happens. So now it says, you're not cool. And why are you even here? So it works. That's basically how you do that. So that's another example of a nested if statement. It doesn't matter if you do it in the F, the else, anything. But there's another, there's more stuff we can do. We can get even more extensive, okay? So let's delete all of this. Let's start from scratch. So let's say we want multiple conditions inside the, bi the big one. I don't know how to explain, but let's say we want multiple, right? So we can say, um, hmm, Boolean is cool equals true. And then Boolean is short, all right, is, Okay, we can work with that. Okay, so we could say if um is cool excuse me, burp <laughs> if is cool is equal to true, then do this. Cool. But then we can say else if this is a second conditional, we can say else if then it's gonna check and say we could do some like if is cool is equal to oops, is cool is equal to false. And then we can run this out. What? And then we can have an. We have to have the. Well, we don't have to, but we can have else here. So if none of these are met, if none of these conditions are met, we can run this final statement here. I don't even know anymore. So this will never run because we do have. It's going to be true or false no matter what. It's a boolean, right? So um, yeah. But that's just an example. We can have multiple conditions, right? So now let's check it. It should run cool. But if we change this to false, it's going to not, it's going to pass this one because it doesn't meet the condition, but it's going to go to this one and say, oh, it matches. So it's going to run this block of code here. 
And then it'll never get to this one, of course, because this is true, so it doesn't need to go here. So now it just says what? But yeah. So that's you can have, you can have as many as you want of these, by the way. So we could say um, some like um, five is equal to five. Just stupid stuff. Just you can have as many as you want. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a ladder, basically. It's called the if-else ladder. You can have as many as you want, but make sure that you do not have multiple else's. That doesn't even make sense. In multiple ifs, you have to have the first if, and then you have is else if, and then else if, and then as many as you want, and then finally else if if that's what you want at the end. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode on if statements. It was really fun to make, and I hope I hope I helped you. Um, go ahead and play around with this. this is, at this point, you can start playing around with some cool stuff and make some cool stuff. So if you want to, go ahead and show me in the description what you make. Maybe something stupid, maybe something cool. I don't know, but show me because I'm bored. And yeah, so if you if you need any help, just leave a comment and I'll help you. And subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be posting every day pretty much. And subscribe. Yeah. Peace and leave a like and yeah, all that cool stuff. Okay, bye.